Hello, um, I'm presenting an idea for a 3D printable mask that uses uh, household materials to create a cushion and a seal in contact with the face. The reason why this is potentially useful is because generally speaking, people are um, not commonly able to 3D print in flexible materials. And a lot of people are trying to 3D print um, masks that contact the face for various purposes, for ventilation machines or for uh, N95 mask replacements. Um, but these are all rigid masks that are not able to conform and create a seal around the face. Um, and so the idea here is to be able to use anything from um, foam from a bed or a mattress or something you'd buy in a hardware store to um, uh, the type of sealing material you use around windows or doors to create that seal around the face. Um, a couple things to note. Um, uh, one is this is not a finished uh, product or, or design. This is a proof of concept that people can either incorporate the idea into their own design or take the files that I'm linking to below and uh, modify them for your own purposes. Um, and then the other thing to note is um, hospitals are increasingly shying away from using um, passive ventilator masks for uh, ventilation machines because um, the aerosol can come out the side of the masks and infect people. Um, and so um, just to note, I'm aware of that and there are other uses for masks like this. Um, so this is what the mask looks like in its sort of assembled form. And this is a cushion material. This is actually just using the type of um, uh, window and door sealer material that you can buy um, at uh, any hardware store. Um, and it fits over the face like this. And then this could be anything. It could be a 22 millimeter uh, tubing or it could be an N95 adapter. Um, and I'll show you how this gets assembled. So the mask itself is in two parts. Um, and so what you do is you take a plastic bag. It could be a um, you know, grocery bag. I mean, a, a produce bag works pretty well. Fit it uh, over like such. Take this ring, fit it over the bag. Um, and then you just snap this in place. And then you um, put whatever type of um, uh, material that you want here. So in the case of this type of material, it comes um, uh, with adhesive already there. Um, and so you can literally just um, put the adhesive down. I, you could put two layers, you could put three layers, anything. Um, or you could cut uh, foam out from some other piece of foam that you have. Um, so I'll just use that for now. The nice thing about this is um, you don't have to worry about um, the foam being sterile or even clean um, or being comfortable to touch the face. You just put the foam here, you fold the bag back over itself like this, um, and you create a little pressure. And so that's actually now gonna hold the foam in place. And then uh, all you do is you take a rubber band and there's a little groove I've just uh, designed in here. There's other ways you could do this. And the rubber band just fits right into the groove. And then you take this excess uh, material and you just cut it off with uh, scissors. And this is a totally uh, uh, airtight seal, actually. Well, I hope this helps someone's project, some of the many um, dozens and dozens of projects that are happening out there. It's incredible to see what's going on in the world. So hopefully this is a useful um, idea to spark something for someone.